This is a, another exciting day driving to downtown LA for mediation. You can tell I'm not really excited. <laughs> Helping client to resolve the dispute through mediation, I'm all for it. Um, driving part, not so much. This case is involving a real estate project um, with a pretty significant amount. Uh, and the dispute is, is pretty much from, between the buyers and seller. Now, uh, about a year and a half ago, my client, I represent seller, uh, sold a piece of property for $12 million to a, this particular buyer uh, to redevelop into a condominium project. Uh, we gave a number of extensions for him to do uh, the due diligence uh, to secure a proper permit from the city, but he was not able to do so. Uh, the escrow didn't close. Uh, my client felt that he didn't want to, t to have his property tied up indefinitely uh, and feel that uh, the buyer spent significant amount of time already uh, to secure the proper uh, permit from the city. Um, he doesn't want to uh, continue the escrow any further. Um, apparently, for some reason, he was able to secure a buyer to purchase the property for the same amount of money. Um, and, uh, um, you know, only thing that we gave up, 10 more business days uh, for them to put the deal together. If not, everybody go their separate ways. My client going to keep the earnest money deposit um, and, uh, you know, they're all business person, so if um, they're not able to close within the next 10 business days, then maybe, you know, they will shake hands and depart. We uh, hope that he will abide um, the contract that he signed yesterday um, and, uh, um, and keep his word. Um, and I'm very hopeful mm -hmm. for almost all the real estate contract, especially the one that's draft drafted by California Association of Realtors. They are very specific in terms of how parties can resolve the disputes. And um, you know, according to the contract, we have to go to mediation, uh, then we'll go arbitration, and arbitration will be binding. Everybody give up their um, right to trial by jury. Uh, I think the focus for the business cases is how, you know, how the, the client can resolve the disputes as fast as they can with these amount of resources put in. Those contracts are very unique in, in the fact that they kind of they kind of force parties to have mediation first before go to arbitration. I am not sure I like that. Um, you know, mediation is fine if if we can resolve the dispute through third party, try to mediate uh, the, the uh, buyers and sellers, I'm all for it, okay? Um, the thing that I don't feel comfortable is that you've been, you know, you asked my client to be forced into it, okay? And generally speaking, based on my experience, when you go to mediation, there must be a, a close range of uh, resolution. Now, if there are like fifty thousand dollars difference in between um, the the amount that's that one side want to settle versus the amount the other side wants to settle, then that's all fine. Uh, it, in the dispute like this, uh, where the um, parties have a different perspective on each of spec each end of the spectrum, um, I, I wasn't too hopeful. But we have to go through the process because I, you know, I told a client, hey, you need to do that, number one, in the event that you need to go to arbitration. According to the contract, if you don't go mediation first, then you give up your right at the end to ask for attorney's fee even if you prevail on the case. Um, so in order for that to happen, you had to um, 
participate in it. Um, and that's the reason I, I, I feel a little weary because you know we are being forced into it even though we, we were a little uh, skeptical whether or not uh, there will be any result. Uh, but we were lucky. We were able to, to uh, secure a settlement uh, and then we, you know, within four hours and we were not giving up too much other than 10 more business days for the buyer to uh, put together a, a solid deal to close escrow. So everybody walked uh, away from the mediation happy. So that's great.